Hey, have you seen the new Kodak S8835 millimeter film camera? It's the latest point and shoot from Meta Imaging Solutions under license from Kodak, and it fits in the palm of your hand. There's been a lot of fun little compact Kodak branded cameras that have come out recently, like the M35, the Kodak M38, the Ultra F9, and if you've seen any of those, then the S88 specs will look pretty familiar. It's got a plastic one element 31 millimeter lens with a fixed aperture of F10, a fixed shutter speed of 1 125th of a second, and fixed focus from one meter to infinity. It's got a built-in flash powered by one AA battery and a working distance of one to three meters. So again, these specs are all pretty similar to the cameras I mentioned earlier. The thing that sets the S88 apart is it's got a motor drive that automatically advances the film when you're shooting your roll and at the press of a button will automatically rewind your film at the end of the roll as well. Now because of that motor drive, loading the film is super easy. Take a look. Okay, I'm going to use the latch to pop the back open. Today is not particularly bright, so I'm going to use a roll of Kodak Ultramax 400. If it's bright out, you can use 200 speed film like Kodak Gold. We're going to pop this into the right side of the chamber. I'm going to take that leader out and thread it over the sprockets by my thumbs. Pull it over to the take-up spool. And then you just need to close the back. When you hit the shutter button, that's going to advance it. Hit it again to get to number one. And unloading your film is just as easy. Okay, as I'm pressing the shutter button, it's not letting me advance the film, so I know I'm at the end of the roll. So I'm going to take that little rewind button and push it that way. You can hear it rewinding. When that sound stops, it means you're at the end of the roll and you can safely open the back. Let's pop that open. And our film is rewound into the canister. You can see that the tongue or the film leader is left out, which makes it easier if you process film at home. Now this is a point and shoot, so taking pictures with the Kodak S88 is a breeze. After you've loaded the film and installed the AA battery for the flash, you're ready to shoot. If you slide the lens cover to the middle position, you can take a picture without the flash. If you slide this all the way to the left, you'll take a picture with the flash. Just remember to wait until your green indicator light lights up. Now to actually take your picture, make sure your subject is one meter or further away from the camera. Line things up in the viewfinder, which is going to show you about 70% of what ends up on your film. Hold the camera securely with both hands, keeping your fingers away from the lens, and simply press the shutter button. There's no focusing, so you don't have to do a half press on the shutter button. The motor drive will automatically advance your film, and you're ready for the next shot. Again, if you want to use the flash, make sure you wait until the green light is lit up. Alright, so now you know how to load the camera, how to unload the camera, you know the specs, you know how to take the pictures. So now the only question is, what do these images look like? Well, I'm going to share with you now a little montage I put together featuring all kinds of images I shot on Kodak Ultramax 400 with the S88. Stick around after these images and I'll share with you my final thoughts on the Kodak S88.
So this camera couldn't be easier to use. You don't have to set the aperture, you don't have to set the shutter speed, you don't set the ISO, you don't focus it, you don't even have to wind it. You literally just point and shoot. As for the image as well, if you've shot a camera with an all plastic lens before, you know what you're going to get. Soft focus, vignetting, lens flare, definitely a lo-fi vibe. So if you're looking for tack sharp images with no distortion and complete control over things like exposure and depth of field, this camera may not be right for you. But if you're looking for a lightweight, compact camera that gives you that lo-fi vibe and is dead simple to use, then this Kodak S88 might be just what you're looking for. Big thanks to Meta Imaging Solutions for sending me this camera to review, and a big thanks to you for watching this review. If you want to check out a new Kodak camera with classic retro styling, click on the video popping up now. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film!